Well, welcome to another episode of The Grace Between Us. And today we're going to talk about something, obviously it's in the news, it's the big movie of the season. Uh, we're going to talk about the new Star Wars movie, not because we've seen it, uh, but because there's so much crap when a movie comes out, especially something like Star Wars amongst Christians. Should they see it? Shouldn't they see it? Hopefully this kind of trend thing is, is dying, but we still have some of these crazy religiousites thinking that you can't have fun. So we're going to talk about movies, specifically Star Wars. We'll be right Wars. back. We'll be right back. <laughs> Episode number, oh crap, what episode are we on? Number 47. 47. And we're talking about Christian Jedi. I guess that's Christian what we'll call it. Jedi. Christian Jedi. <laughs> so our family loves Star Wars. We love the Disney products for the most part. We, we think we love we love Disney. If you don't like Disney, cool. You don't have to go. It's the happiest place on earth. It's happy. Everyone's it, happy there. Most of heaven will look like Disney. I'm just telling you that. It's so clean. <laughs> Everything's so clean. brand new and sparkly all the time. Uh, anyway, we, we love. We always go a time when it's not too crowded, so it's yes. perfect. And I'm not going to give you my hint. If you really want my hint on no. when to go, you, uh, you can us. DM me, whatever. But I can tell you exactly when to go every year and the crowds will be very 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 maybe minimal. Maybe we should do a podcast on Disney someday and is Ooh. Disney the devil? And maybe maybe <laughs> maybe we should make you pay for our secrets someday. That would be a good one. You can, you have to cash app us before you you send us <laughs> Before we said you had secret. We're not going to uh, do that. We might. I don't know. It's a good business model, right? <laughs> Anyways, so we're going to so go see Star Wars tonight. We are. Our boys are super into that. And, yep. You know, but sometimes, you know, as a Christian, sometimes we feel torn. Like, should we get into some of this? Well, if it's not, if it's craze? not Star Wars, for her, it was Harry Potter. Oh, well, don't can, do can Harry the, Potter. The wizardly world of Harry, <laughs> Harry <devil>. Potter. And <laughs> so last time we're on vacation, we didn't go to uh, Disney. We actually went to Universal, and we went on the Harry. Potter ride, and I could feel the tension. Like, uh, ooh, what do we do? It's it's the wizards, and it's war. It's this and that. Okay, listen. There have been there have been narratives used throughout history to tell good stories, basically good versus evil. Mm -hmm. If if you don't like Harry Potter or Star Wars or whatever, then you're gonna have a hard time with one of the the, the greatest Christian apologists of all time in J.R.R. Tolkien, and specifically even in. Um, What's a dude? Uh, yeah, uh, just C.S. Lewis. Lewis. Yeah, yep. uh, Chronicles Lion, of Narnia. Yeah, Chronicles of Narnia. Lion, yeah. the Witch, and the Wardrobe. There was a witch. There were wizards. There was right. magical spells. There's, you know, all of these things. Mm -hmm. And particularly with C Lewis's work, pointing to the concept of savior. Mm -hmm. You know, that's very, very ingrained in those stories. And it's it's somewhat ingrained even in uh, the Harry Potter story, redemption through mm -hmm. uh, this particular <laughs> miracle child. Um, I don't know the stories real well, so don't don't get you know too on board on that. I'm just I, I know the background a little bit, but definitely with the concept of of the the Jedi and Star Wars and the Chosen One, you know I, I I think we we have to answer the question first: Are all movies bad? Well, of course not. Christians boycotted movies way too early and things like film and cinema and TV and what could have been used as an amazing tool and later on was used as a tool to reach people was just cut off. Well, you know he absolutely hates. Hallmark movies. Hate them. Hate them. <laughs> so don't buy Dear them Jesus. like that Hallmark sweatshirt that oh. all I need is, is Hallmark movies and a cup of coffee. Oh my gosh. No. I hate them. I understand that people <laughs> love this time of year in those movies and great for you if, if you want to sit and watch a marathon of hallmark movies cool i mean I, I there's a lot of things i would rather get a root canal have a finger cut off you know anything so you take my finger <laughs> that's right please if i don't have to watch this i will sac I'll, th I'll sacrifice my thumb like i'll turn into something less than a primate like i'm cool <laughs> no opposable thumbs uh you know whatever but, but you my, have reasons for not liking that even too that's but just we, that's just my that's just my personal feel right. on the story and i think the poor poor storytelling and everything yeah. else but the idea is, are these movies bad? Are they this or that? Right. No, no. Even, uh oh, I grew up, and I, I snuck around, but I loved horror movies. Oh, I love them so much. In fact, even today, I love the tension in most horror Those movies. Those are the devil. I don't I hate them. <laughs> Listen, Why would you watch it? Can you feel the... You can feel it right now. She's totally different than I am. Nope. Here's don't bring that in my house. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the deal with that, though. There's no devil in a movie theater or connect to a DVD. What is there is what you repetitively, repetitively feed your mind. Yeah. Whether it's Star Wars, whether it's Freddy Krueger, whether it's these crazy Hallmark movies Don't where everyone's cheating name. on everybody. Whatever it is, whatever you repetitively bring That's into your right. brain, into your heart, and your soul, mm -hmm. eventually you're you're going to start expressing in your life. Right. So you have to learn to moderate certain things. Now that doesn't yeah. mean that we do things that are totally against uh, scripture, like you know, just a little bit of pornography. Yeah, no, porn that 
that's not, there's, there's a cutoff, right? And even some of these over-sexualized scenes and things like that, you, you need to be very aware of that uh, and not let that into your life because you're just asking for, for bad things in the future. Right. But in a generic sense, are these movies bad? No, come on, man, they're just stories. And hopefully you can use, use them as ways and means to connect with your kids. In fact, if, if you look at the Bible, <clears throat> and we'll all go over the what would Jesus do, but particularly I want to kind of jump into the what would Paul do moment, because Paul wrote two-thirds of the New Testament, yep. right? He's the foremost theologian in Christian scriptures, particularly Christian scriptures of the New Testament. Acts 17, 23, he talks about an unknown God, and he basically goes to this altar of this unknown God. He's like, listen, you guys have been worshiping in vain. I know who this guy is. Mm -hmm. And he uses he uses the, the talk of the town. He uses the, the construct of culture to interject Jesus. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is like, again, the foremost theologian ever, the guy that wrote two-thirds of the New Testament. He learned how to use something culturally appropriate and appropriated yeah. and used it to interject Jesus. Mm -hmm. I, if, if we need to use Star Wars characters to interject Jesus, we will. Listen, if lightsaber duels bring people into church, <laughs> I'm gonna learn how to use a lightsaber. Just to be real honest with you. If Frozen is what works, if Chronicles, whatever it is, right? Whatever cultural theme of the moment, whatever it is that works to introduce people to Jesus, I'm gonna mm -hmm. use it. Are you sinning if you go to a movie? No. Are you, if you're all into Star Wars and, and all this Jedi stuff, are you sinning? No. Now you're sinning if it becomes your God. Right. You're sinning if you trust Luke's words above Luke, the words of scripture, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> if, if, if Yoda's more of an inspiration to you than the Holy Spirit, yeah. yes, then you've crossed over. And, right. and now it's something that it shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. But if you're using it as entertainment value and, and a point to kind of put our pulse on culture, then it is what it is, man. Yeah. Like, uh, let it let it be, man. Christians are allowed to have fun. What? What? You're allowed to go to the movie and enjoy <laughs> it with your family. We love movies. We love them a we lot. We love movies. We watch, we watch tons of movies. Mm -hmm. Our kids have seen probably more movies than they should. But it's, it's kind of our pastime to snuggle up next mm -hmm. to each other in a theater or at home and watch something that we enjoy together. We've seen some dumb movies. Yeah. We've had to turn movies off. Yep. We've had to explain things to our kids and mm -hmm. say, well, this isn't, you know, this isn't good and this is why we turned it off or this is why right. we don't watch this movie. You know, particular TV shows have gone the same way. Yep. But they're teaching moments for our children. Mm -hmm. And I think too often, in fact, the way we grew up uh, a little bit was a little heavy handed. Yeah. Don't do anything. Right. Don't go to a movie. You're not allowed to see a rated R movie because rated R means restricted and restricted is just another word for hell. You're going to hell. <laughs> Hallelujah. I believe that. <laughs> I, I believe that R was for rapture. And this is where <laughs> do you want to be when Jesus comes back? You know, we got, <laughs> we had that, we had that, that terminology. This is where you want to be when Jesus comes back, boy? No, it's not. <laughs> but I'm hoping it gives me a little time. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. wow. That devolved really quickly. Uh, but the goal is in our, in our pursuit of following God is to lay out a track record that we can say, listen, we're normal people. Mm -hmm. We enjoy normal things. We enjoy yep. normal music, normal food. Uh, we enjoy normal entertainment. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're normal people, but we have something special on the inside of us. That's right. We have the person of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Our life is better than it could be because guess what? Jesus, Jesus is the thing that, the person, I'm sorry, that moves us along, that guides us, that is our guidepost. Mm -hmm. So what would Jesus do? Well, he sat around with sinners, tax collectors, prostitutes. What would Jesus do? Probably not get all uptight about a movie. Okay. Jesus is the guy that turned water into wine. And yes, it was alcoholic wine. It was an alcoholic beverage. Sorry if you don't believe that. But Jesus turned water into wine to extend a party. Mm -hmm. And if you look at John's gospel, because he's a consummate theologian, what he does is backs that up with Jesus going to the temple, flipping over tables, getting all upset. Why is that? Because he's showing that Jesus would rather shut down a religious institution and extend the life of a party when it meant people are coming together, gathering together, and enjoying one, each other, one another's company. It, he would rather dispense with old dead religious traditions and extend the life of the party to show off his godhood, his nature. And that's not a pass for you to go out and drink as much alcohol no. as you want. No, please. Don't, <laughs> don't sit over a barrel of water and be like, I'm doing my Jesus thing. <laughs> No, you know, oftentimes people do that. They hear one little snippet and be like, no. oh, that's good. Wow, that was loud. Well, yeah, it was loud. It was a clap. <laughs> it's 
That's what happens when you clap in front of a microphone. Not always the best clapper, but that clap time on, it was clap good. Off. But anyways, you know, oftentimes people grab one portion of a story and or you know hear well, a she, pastor say, "Well, I heard he really said that he did that and he <laughs> wanted to extend the party, so that means I'm gonna extend I'm the gonna party." Extend the par- Woo, Who's getting no, another round? No, that's not what it means. No. What it what it means is that Christ is adamantly against dead religious traditions right. and totally into fellowship. Yep. People. Totally into communion, totally into people. Yep. So if you're around a behavior that you're wondering, oh my gosh, is, is the Christian in me, mm-hmm. is, am, am, I, am I devaluing my witness by going to see Star Wars or doing this or doing that? Don't worry about that, man. And we'll talk about the alcohol thing some other time. We mm-hmm. abstain. Right. We always have. Mm-hmm. And we'll talk about that, why we're abstentionists some right. other time. Um, and maybe that's not you. You have to work that out. The Bible says you work out your own salvation through yeah. fear and trembling. So maybe you've got to do that for yourself. I will say this. If, if you're all into the alcohol thing, uh, what else are you into? You, just, you know, just a little bit pornography. Just a little adultery in your marriage. Not a lot. I mean, you only had one drink, right? Uh-oh. We won't go there. What in the hell do you want, right? Anyway, we'll get, <laughs> we'll get on that some other time. It's Christmas, uh, y'all. It's Christmas. Happy Merry New Year. Christmas. Merry Christmas. But, we hey. We do. Yeah, we love movies. And say, we really enjoy them. It's fun. So We do. And, and the thing is, man, learn how to enjoy people learn how to enjoy each other learn how to connect Mm -hmm. come on that's what it's really all about so star wars christian jedi should or shouldn't i we're gonna do it we're doing it we're not the marker for you talk to the holy spirit trust the voice in your heart as he leads and guides you but remember that there is a metric in which we can take everything of life's experiences and point it towards the gospel amen and if we did that for our own kids think about where the world would be Mm. not just our neighbors not just that lost soul that we see somewhere down the road and want to bring them in. Right. No, what happens if Christian communities and Christian families all over the country started pointing all of everyday behaviors, all of everyday moments towards the person of Christ? What would life look like? My guess is it would expand pretty quickly. Yeah. The ideas, the ideals of Christianity would just run man, over this world. So we're excited for the Christmas season. We'll see you on Monday. Hopefully we'll tie in a little bit of the Christmas season. I really want to talk about impeachment. She doesn't. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see. We'll see. Christian's view on impeachment. I think that's a good one. Merry Christmas. And hey, share with us your favorite Christmas movies. I would love to hear some recommendations. Christmas movies, yes. You know, don't bring up a Hallmark movie. I'll tell you right now, that one's going to get... It's it's Die Hard. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Cross off the list. It's the favorite Christmas movie. Whatever. (laughs) My favorite movie that is around Christmas time is While You Were Sleeping. And he literally sleeps through it. <laughs> I do. I have While You Were Slept a lot. <laughs> anyway, Pretty share much with since us. We're dating. Share with us your favorite movies and just we we love you guys. We're excited for Christmas for you. Share about the podcast. Yes. No, we've been a little sporadic lately. That's Holidays all right. We'll get, get we'll get crazy. We'll get but, tightened down here pretty yep. soon. So well, anyway, find, we'll see you guys. Yeah. Find us on the socials. We got Instagram, YouTube, yes. Facebook. Twitter. Yes. You name it. We're there. Find us. Tell your friends about us. It's an awesome time over the holidays yep. to tell your friends and family, hey, I watched this podcast and you know what? We're not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you probably think we are. Maybe it's okay. We, we are but a little crazy. Sometimes it's a great opportunity for you to talk to people. Yeah, about just turn it on and say, hey, let's watch a couple of videos, listen to a couple of podcasts. And by the way, if you want to watch a couple more videos, you'll see some uh, within whatever framework you're watching this. You can go and cycle through some videos, see yeah. things that pique your interest. We're excited for where 2020 is going. This mm-hmm. was just the beginning in 2019 for this podcast. Yep. And we only took about half the year to do it. Uh-huh. We're going to ramp things Boom. up in the new we're year. Ready. Got a bunch of goals and things to set and see things happen. We talked about that vision board in the last time. You need to get yours out. See where God can I keep take. Keep hearing you. people say 2020 is the year of vision. Such a cliche statement. <laughs> when, when, when vision. Why not? If your church is doing 2020 vision, like go to your marketing person and be like, "Yo, get some like better creative juices. This is dumb." Hey, if it works, it works for them. If it, whatever. All I right, we love I don't you like guys. Being generic. We'll talk All to right, you later. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.